So uh, just give me a, you know, a very quick introduction about you and your company. Sure, I will, Luca. Thank you very much. Um, I am uh, I'm the CEO and founder of Luggage Hero, and uh, Luggage Hero was uh, was founded in 2016 in Copenhagen. And what we do is uh, what we do is we provide uh, easy, safe, and affordable hourly luggage storage from existing locations, like local shops, like cafes and hotels, and so on. So we're kind of a, we're kind of a sharing economy concept. Okay, I've seen you've been growing very fast. I mean, like every day there was a LinkedIn message about opening a new location. How do you pull this off? I mean, um, we worked really intensively on getting London and New York uh, kicked off uh, in, in the beginning when the company was launched. Uh, and, and we kind of figured out how we could we could scale this the most effective so we worked really hard during those years on figuring out how we exactly could scale this uh, and it seems to be working i would say okay what, what will be the, diff the main difference between your company and other similar services yeah so we have a lot of uh not, perhaps not a lot, but we have a handful of international competitors who are in somewhat way uh, providing uh, the same service. Uh, but we are we are actually the only one out there to to offer the service as a pay as you go, and that means that our service is the only one where you only pay for the hours that you actually store your luggage. That means that it's affordable and it's 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 fair. For someone storing it one hour, uh, in comparison to someone storing it five hours, that that person pays more. Um, so that's our our platform is the only one really accommodating that. Okay, so the others would ask you a, fee, a flat fee for a certain number of hours and so much per hour after that. And exactly. you go for the first hour, I mean one hour so much, two hours so much. Okay, it's a different model. Yeah. And so okay, and that that's working with customers. They appreciate that. Flexibility. They, I, 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 I truly believe that we're probably the most friendly uh, platform of, of all the, the platforms out there because we have the most flexible terms as well. Uh, you don't pay unless you show up. So okay. where you have to pay in advance from, from our competitors in order to get the address, the directions, everything, and you already paid for the full service, we don't charge you anything until you're actually standing in that shop and dropping off your bags. So and that, you, that's a huge advantage. Okay, yeah. so you can actually book online and you have a, an easy to work app. Are you integrated with any other software platforms? Mm. So yeah, I'm happy you're asking. Um, we, we just launched our integration with uh, Guesty, uh, Guesty, the right. property management system platform. Uh, and we already have the first uh, property managers coming on board. Uh, and we also just launched another really good integration with uh, Booking Sync, uh, which yes. is look, yeah. which is looking really, really promising. I, I mean, it's really incredible. Uh, so uh, we're really, really excited about it in, in Love Two. And um, so you integrate first with China managers and property manager systems. And that way you don't actually need to integrate with OTAs, is that correct? Or you will still need to integrate or want to integrate with Airbnb, Booking and the others? I, I, we do. Um, we, have a, we, have a, uh, we have a partnership with uh, Booking.com as well. Uh, we have a partnership with Kiwi.com. So it's not because we are not looking in the OTAs, uh, but for, for, for the short-term industry, short-term rental industry, it's such a perfect fit for a product like ours um, because they just have no availability. They have no choice to, to, to leave their luggage anywhere. And the property managers are just kind of left in the dark on really helping out uh, these uh, travelers. It's, it's, it's a perfect fit for us. Uh, so how does it work when you are integrated, let's say, with, with Guesty or Booking Sync? From the customer point of view, what is it like... Uh, is it easier to, to book yeah. a luggage storage through them? It, How does it work? It's, it's From... very much easier for both the property manager, but also for the, for the customer itself. Because 
um, a lot of people are asking their property manager, what can we do with our bags? Yeah. Can we check in early? Yeah. Can we have a late checkout? And that that question is often uh, answered with a kind of disappointment uh, answer that we can't really accommodate you. You have to find your own way. So we changed that and, and we, we've integrated this in, uh, with, uh, with Guesty so that every time you get a question related to that, you can just promptly answer it with and with with locations just around that property. So as a property manager, you don't have to sit and look for all the locations around that that property to help your guests because we just integrated it. So we have all the addresses from from Guesty and we automatically pull that out if the property manager allows us to and we then list all the available luggage storage locations just around that property. So it's just so much more convenient and, and, the, hap and, and the guests are, are, are more happy about that and answer about that. So it helps uh, you improve the communication. So it, it, it helps you add this information in your answers basically, right? And then the guest yeah. does the booking. But also on the pre-arrival message and the and then the pre-checkout message that you actually include some information that are really relevant for the guest, and you do it in a way where they don't have to figure everything out themselves. They just click that link and 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 it just shows up to them. Okay. And okay. We, we even at this point now we even include two hours free luggage. So okay. I mean. That's, that's nothing that you don't like about that offer. Right? Perfect, perfect. So uh, the, reason that, the reason I'm doing these interviews is to understand what we are doing, uh, if we are actually going to solve any problem, if there are problems which need to be solved and we haven't find out, found out about them yet. So um, I have, my question for you is like, first of all, where do you stand with the blockchain? You probably heard about it. Do you understand it? Do you follow it? It's like a black box for you just to give me an idea to what level yeah. we, we should discuss this thing yeah yeah i i think i think it's a misconception by me probably but i'll tell you straight out that i i i kind of associate everything about blockchain to to cryptocurrency and and i might be very much wrong but i i think that a lot of the buzz that has been out there has been like tied these two uh things together um, but then, on the other hand, I've also heard uh, a lot of, of, of speakers talking about the big potential in blockchain, but I'm just sit, still sitting back and thinking, I've, I've not really experienced anything yet, okay. so I don't know what the big thing is. Uh, okay. I'm kind of sitting for it. Yeah, so. it's, uh, you, you're correct in both, in both ways. So cryptocurrencies are part of the blockchain. And actually, when there's a blockchain which doesn't have a cryptocurrency, usually it's not the blockchain, uh, at least in my view. And um, and yes, that you haven't experienced anything because there is nothing yet. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. right. Yes, yes, it is only potential. So there's been a lot of uh, hype, people trying to sell stuff, sell tokens or whatever, and tell you that the solution is behind the corner, is around the corner. It's not. Um, the the potential is so big that it really requires a lot of time to to come out. So it's a bit like the internet. Uh, you know, we started talking about the internet very very early, and then before we had something really useful, years passed. Uh, blockchain is gonna be faster than the internet because there's no infrastructure to be laid down. You don't need to bring cables. All you need to do is to download an app which runs on the blockchain, right? So yeah, uh, you're perfectly right. Um, Still, there are there are uh, a lot of opportunities for companies, and especially in our in our space, I think this is going to be a game changer because uh, what we're trying to do is a platform which is like a booking platform, which is completely open. So for a company like yours, uh, you can connect to the API without it's called permissionless. You don't need to ask for permission, and you can have access to all the bookings and all the listings um, of all the customers who agree with you without having to go through a third party, like without having to ask permission to uh, Airbnb or a channel manager. So uh, I'm trying to see for your specific you know, company, what are the good news? The good news is that there's going to be open inventory, open bookings. So everything is going to be open. 
uh, and you can build your company on an open uh, platform, which means you are 100% guaranteed that nobody will ever close this platform to you, right? And you are not asking for permission to, to have access to this. So that means you can integrate uh, your flow into an open flow, okay? And that happens, and that's gonna happen anyway. Um, even if uh, the other companies don't agree with that. So in the long term, you're going to have access to an open, basically, um, market. It's, it's uh, how to, how to put, it, put this down. Like now you are, you're facing a small risk that somebody may tell you, okay, we don't work with you anymore, or the API is going to cost you money, or uh, we have a preferred partner for this service, so it's not you, it's the others. And in the future, this is just going to be impossible because you're going to have access to, to most of the, the bookings, which doesn't mean you're going to have access to the specific Airbnb booking, but the same Airbnb booking is going to be present on the blockchain as long as the host agrees with that. And so it's, it's more open. That, that's all I can say for that. Um, yeah, so my question is, what is the situation today for you as a company which needs access to booking information and customer information uh, do you have everything you need or would you like to have a bit more access to this to make your flow more integrated and easily approachable how is it I'm, yeah um and and i will be um i mean i think that data for us and timing is perhaps the most important things for us to really, really scale this. Um, the, 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 the open window that we're kind of navigating in right now and being really successful on is actually capturing the user at the right timing. Mm -hmm. And that means when you have the pain. I mean, when you have the pain of standing there with your luggage and looking at all the people around you with no luggage, having fun, running around in a, in a complete new city and enjoying themselves, but you're staying there with your luggage. And, and how can we be in your top of mind at exact that moment is really difficult because you don't really care about my service two weeks ahead or three weeks ahead. You care about it when you're standing there with your shitload of baggage and you can't get rid of it. So timing the message for our audience is our, mo our biggest challenge. Um, and getting that message through in that narrow window is, is really challenging. Uh, so we have the window just before you arrive at the location or while you are at the location, you're having this trouble, or just before you leave from an apartment or a hotel a little bit distance out from the city or something. Um, and those two windows are so narrowly and so we have to really time our message. So we can only rely on partnerships where we get the kind of data and allowed uh, an allowance to actually push our message to this audience. Because once they know about the service, they're really excited about it. They're free. They're like, I'm amazed. I could get rid of it, and I, I'm free now. Uh, do you have this access right now, or not? Or it depends. You could say you could say in some way we do because we we as I told you just before how we integrate with the property management system so mm -hmm. they can actually do it for us. They can tell the customer, you know what, you will probably find yourself in this situation in about a couple of hours, but I already thought it through for you. And do so they do this, or they or it depends, like. It depends. I mean, we have to work together with them. So okay. we have to work with property managers worldwide in all the cities we're in, having them to, to push this. What so if you had direct access to the guests? Would it be easier? I would be relieved. I would be amazed. Okay. Uh, give okay. it to me. <laughs> okay, okay. No, well, that, that's a bit the point where, where we're trying to get with the uh, open blockchain systems is you have access directly to the guests. And the only person who can say, no, don't contact me, is the guest himself. It's not the platform, it's not the channel manager. So uh, you can go and build your flows. That's what I meant before, and, but I probably wasn't really clear. And it wasn't clear in my mind, what is your pain point? Uh, you will be able to contact guests directly at the right moment. And you're going to know exactly when they booked. Of course, you won't know where they are. We don't have this kind of tracking. But the booking happens on the blockchain and you can... Um, you can check the blockchain, you can query it all the time, 
it's not our blockchain it's just there right and uh and you can kind of ask permission to the guests to be contacted at the right time so that's just you know one way which in which the blockchain we kind of help your your business so yeah i think we found uh one one pain point we may actually help you solve not us specifically as trips but the whole open blockchain in vacation rentals is going to be many many different platforms like us so i could okay. imagine i could imagine okay i guess uh, our time is finished you have another call right now um and uh yeah i'm happy because we found this one thing so now you're going to remember the blockchain as okay maybe it's a solution for us <laughs> and not like I mean, a, a a foggy thing <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited that you learned me this stuff i didn't know that before this call so uh yeah. Check mark on that one. I'm 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 actually really excited about it. Um, so I'm definitely gonna tell a few colleagues now uh, about it and uh, yeah and, and and stay in touch. Great. And, uh, so I hope to see you around, maybe maybe in London, and I'll see your colleague in uh, in Como. And thanks so much good. for for the chat. Um, thanks for having me. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye.